It's one of the most popular and spacious couple coaches in the country. All the beautiful style on the inside, the amenities and the creature comforts of home. Just remember 26 RLL because you're going to love it. What's up everybody, it's Chris Young and I am standing inside one of the most beautiful, spacious and popular luxury couple coaches in the country, mainly because of how Forest River built this all new 2021 Cherokee Alpha Wolf 26 RLL Cool J. This thing is right on time. Now we have opposing slides in the living room, which opens up the space and really allows us to not only get around and do some entertaining, but when you do have opposing slides, a lot of times you're going to get an island kitchen. Take a look at the seamless, solid surface countertop, light, beautiful, and inviting, but you still have the dark and uh, dramatic accents in there. We even have an LED accent light that acts as a night light all the way around. Now, all of the features inside the limited package have what's known as the blackout, or what I like to call the matte black graphite style fixtures, like the apron on the undermounted farmhouse style sink with the, sus with the uh, suspension sprayer. You even have the sanitation station right there. But quality and construction and design, just look, the beautiful dark on light that we have here. You got no ducts inside the flooring, which is what they call the easy sweep. So it's easy to clean, slip resistant linoleum. About 80 inches of height in here. Got a 15,000 BTU air conditioner with quick cool. Open that to get the dump, close it, the air will come through the, the uh, ducts. And then we have a 30,000 BTU furnace, kicking us some heat in here. And I just love this layout. This is for that couple that wants to get out, wants to take the creature comforts of home. Doesn't wanna just go camp. They wanna go enjoy some luxury while they camp. So Robert, come on around here and let's show the solid wood all the way throughout. Yep, the LED accent light is underneath, so you get it in there too. Acts as a great safety and night light. Plus you got the solid wood construction, full extension ball bearing drives. You got your separators here for your cutlery. Stuff there, stuff there. And over here, I got more prep space with a flush mounted three burner cooktop. Got the LED accent lights there. Got the Greystone oven. This doubles as a backsplash. Plus you got the grill style grates here, but check it out. You got the cutting board on a magnet that is your backsplash. So I got the cutting board cover here. I got myself a big wood cutting board there. I'm cutting for days. It's veggies, it's chicken, it's shrimp. I'm making some steakums. We having fun with them cutting boards. Power ports here, more storage over here. Frosted glass inlay below my mushroom lights that are LED, which LED is great to have because those old halogen bulbs, LED runs off of less energy. So you can technically do like eight to 10 LED lights for the power it take to do one halogen light. Saves the battery a little bit. Got some space in there. Only thing missing is some strut assist. Solid wood construction on my slides and take a look at the accent lights that we have here. Now you could cut these off, cut the regular lights off, just have the blue lights on and have yourself a little blue light dance party as you're going, you know, getting everything. But look, it's kind of, it's nice. You can make through, you're still safe and secure. I can still see. So it's inviting, beautiful, all at the same time. Before we move to the pantry, I want to come over here to what I like to call the serving station or the coffee station. Dual USB power ports here to do your phone charging. Plus you got the GFCI there. Got your high output microwave. High output microwave just means that you're going to get more wattage than a regular microwave inside of a camper. Frosted glass inlay there, some more storage, or a good grab and go spot right there. That'd be a good one for the bag, Bobby. Do the uh, grab and go, the Kabu bags, the backpacks, the whole nine. Got myself some more. Oh, they got that bolted in. Okay. No wonder. I was like, why am I yanking on this, not opening? They bolted it in, so somebody's hiding something from me. I bet that's where Elvis is. King? King? Uh -huh. There he is. All right. More storage space there. This is your switch between your AC and your fireplace. Because over here, just past our frosted glass door, solid wood entry for the pantry, which that's definitely a bob closet. I mean, you could take these out if you wanted to, but that's great pantry space, hence the pantry. Or 
scratch it out and put fishing, F-I-S-H-I-N, equipment. I can't spell that, but you can put it in there. Right over here, you have a LED backlit fireplace, multiple flame settings with the blower. That's electric, and it does a great job of knocking the chill out of the air on cold nights. But look at my accent lights that I have back here. Now, you have the TV mount. This is used both inside and outside. So if you have the TV you want to take outside, just put this on. It slides in here, but also slides into the one outside. If you don't want the accent light, there you go. Component shelf, storage space, or hideaway. You get yourself a big TV to put it there. You can easily put the Girl Scout cookies that you don't want anybody else to have right there. Christmas presents, whatever. AM, FM, Fury, and Command Center with dual zone. Plus, I got my HDMI and my USB, and it is also Bluetooth, so you can command everything from here. You can also command it from the app, because uh, everything has just gone technologically advanced these days. Apps can control the sound, they can control the awnings, the slides, the heat, the whole thing. You even got the LED backlighting on the driven speakers that we have both inside and out. Right here, we have the tri-fold sofa, which folds out, can easily sleep two people. Now, this coach is like a two to four sleeper, uh, which is why I say it's a couple's coach. But if you're a family, you got small kids or even big kids, two people can easily sleep on this. And with these zebra shades that we have here that are decorative, you also get the option of controlling the light flow as much or as little as you want. I like that. Solid wood balances all the way around. Got my push button LED lights. Got me some stand storage over here, some bookends with dual USB charging plus power and some blown glass LED accent lights. And over here on this side, you got the cubby storage. But don't discount the recliners. Now, these kick out and this has heat and massage, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, sure does. Uh, plus, they have the little light. You got the little accent light that goes there. You push that. It starts to massage. These aren't plugged in right now, but you can get the light, the heat, the massage. You open up these windows and just take a look at the windows we have here on the campsite. Not only with my residential style lighting and my freestanding dinette over there with the four chairs. We're going to get to that here in a second. You get that cross breeze going. You got the fireplace knocking the chill off. I'm watching my Bears lose another football game. And before I know it, I'm out. It's morning time. Don't discount the recliners as sleepers. Just saying. Now, after you get finished cooking that beautiful shepherd's pie that you're going to make out there at the camp kitchen, you got solid wood chairs and a decorative rustic style wood table right here. Take a look at the inlays we have there. Go on, have a seat, Bobby. Now, we had ourselves a cup of coffee reconnect talk about the fish the hunt the, the the bike the hike the beach the climb whatever you're you're disconnected from everything going on and you're reconnecting with the loved ones that's what camping is all about that's what having an rv is so great as a just a, a icing on the cake sure you got your own stuff it's your home you're bringing your home with you but it's the safest way to see the country and it's one of the best ways to see the country because it's so versatile you can take this up and just set it up somewhere with the water tanks that we have you know you got space you could dry dock for a couple of days easily with a couple here large windows let me in some good cross breeze don't forget the fact that it gives you a chance to do what you need to do reconnect with loved ones command center right here i can run out my slides run out my awning got my one control hotspot, the wi-fi my command center right there and since this is separation of space this is why i like uh how forest river did this uh with the uh, alpha wolf you got the separation of space if somebody's out there sleeping they have an access point to the bathroom i have one from the master as well so we're not going to be interrupting each other if we're sleeping and need to get up and use the bathroom large single basin sink with that brush nickel style fixture mirror corner mounted right here with the raised lips uh, i got the plastic bowl right there with the foot flush or is that porcelain oh that's porcelain come on alpha wolf i hear you you go right here you got the raised lips on your corner mounted. You see that? That's raised lips. That's what helps keep stuff from falling out when you're in transit. Not everything's going to tumble over when you open the medicine cabinet right here. And a Neo Angle shower 
with the glass doors. Love this. Single surround, big corner mounted shelf right here. The skylight is huge and bright. The sun's out right now, so it's really beautiful. Don't even really need the lights on when you're in here. But you got your glass enclosure there, not cramped left, right, or up or down. What's great about the Neo Angle is you get more of that mid-room for your shower. You don't feel as cramped, but it's actually taking up a smaller space than a lot of those just regular rectangle showers. Got myself some storage space here as well. Put the towels, the clothes, whatever you need, the toiletries. Got a shelf space there. Be a good spot if you need to put some boots, some fishing gear, tackle box. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm going to open the door for young Robert so we can come into the master. Got a solid door leading in and a solid pocket door going into my bathroom. Got the large bed. Got my push button LED lights, mirrored ward storage on both sides, and some shelf space here for a nightstand. With dual USB charging and power ports, gives me a spot to do my CPAP machine, my reading lights, whatever I need. Got the hangers there. Got that beautiful dark frosted glass inlay here. Three doors giving me some storage up above. Like how they did that. A lot of times the storage space is only in between the wards. I like how they went this one all the way across. Got windows crossing. Got my TV backer right here, including my cable connection and my power. But strut supported storage underneath here. Great spot for the bags or if you got the fishing gear, the hunting gear, the beach gear the hiking gear, you know, or if you just want to stuff a Robert down in there. Let me tell you, the features and amenities with the 2021 Forest River and Cherokee Alpha Wolf 26 RLL, they have really done a great job. And did I mention over here, the 10 cubic foot 12 volt vibration smart fridge. Did we mention that, Robert? I don't think we did. Plenty of space for those long getaways. Get yourself an ice cold drink. You drain the lake of the fish. You got it right there. So great for the couple that wants those, the style, those amenities, the features to take with them on the road. If you need to sleep a lot of people, this isn't the one for you. But if you want the entertainment space, if you know a lot of people are going to be coming and you need the room, now we're talking. We've seen the inside of the beautiful 2021 Forest River Alpha Wolf by Cherokee 26 RLL. What do you say we go take a look at the outside? Okay, so here we are on the outside of the all-new 2021 Forest River Alpha Wolf by Cherokee 26 RLL. Love this one because it's a popular, spacious couples coach. Just take a look at the fiberglass end cap that we have right there. Painted, you got the LED running lights, diamond plated rock guard here on the bottom. Got your battery mounts down here, 20 pound LP tanks, power tongue jack with LED light. This is just essential. I, if you get a, if you get an RV, make sure you get one with the power tongue jack because hooking up and setting up at the campsite, this just makes life so much easier. Enclosed heated underbelly under this one as well. Got your leveling jacks right there. Got the magnetic anti-slam on these for the pass-through storage. And take a look at the finished off and lit pass-through storage. Those are motion lights right there on the side too, but plenty of room for that extra storage space. If you got the beach chairs, the towels, the hunting gear, the fishing gear, the bags, the kids, Robert, you just want to put them in there. Boom, there you go. Now, Forest River is very conscious, not only about the environment, because of the way they manufacture their campers, they reduce and reuse, which allows them to pass along a lot of savings to you, really shrinking that carbon footprint. They also think about the family friends. On a lot of their campers, you'll see the leash latches. So very pet friendly, very, you know, thinking about, you know, the safety of the animals. Now you got 20 total feet of awning links right here. You got an awning right here over the entry point and an awning coming out over the slide. Edge 12 volt with the edge lights right there, the LED floodlights. That mixed with that LED accent light that you're gonna get at night with the speakers really makes this thing pop. Just looks really good. Beautiful fiberglass, got the safety glass that's sealed all the way around. Got the step above solid steps right here with the extra large grab handle. But as Bob kind of uh, pointed out at one of them uh, a while back, for 2021, they've updated the doors. Look at this glass privacy entry point that you have here. Not only is it aesthetically pleasing, it serves a purpose. 
you still it's still friction hinged you know you still got the friction hinge on it so it's going to stay where you want it to stay but it's privacy glass can only see out love it entertainment space is right here this is where it's going to get a little wonky underneath you got your 15 inch aluminum wheels with those dexter easy lube axles right there the nitro filled tires i got my lp quick connect under here for my grill so if i want to do some grilling you see that right there with the blue tip that's it but you run the awning out here you remember that latch that i showed you inside for the tv that goes right here for the mount got my cable and power hookups right here my driven speakers i could be watching the game grilling cooking hanging out having fun and since the awning comes off the slide i have the option of cooking right here or cooking over there however you want to do it love it four by four sewer hose storage on the back come with me through the jungle my son where are you going robert <gasps> go on the hunt crikey i found myself an alpha wolf we got a bike rack on the back with a spare tire mounted. You're going to see the arch ceilings right there with the backup camera prep, sealed safety glass all the way around. You see those zebra shades? Look how cool that looks both inside and out. Just a big fan of the Forest River products and how they've done here the past couple of years. 30 amp plug right here. Got your connection easy to get to. You'll notice underneath that, that's your leveling jack right there and your guard. Over here are your main terminations. Got your, uh, oh yeah, I walked right by this. Look at this. Would you look at it? You got yourself a little stowaway storage. This is a good grab and go spot. Or if you like to keep your muck boots when you go out because you know you're gonna get dirty, bam, put them right there. Magnetic anti-slam, bada bing, bada boom. Now, I mean, it's not, it's kind of small. So I'd say backpacks, maybe some essentials. You could probably get a good tackle box in there. Over here, your main terminations, low point drains, gray and black tanks right there, sewer outlet connection as well. And right here are my main hookups. Fresh water connection, city water connection, black tank flush, and my satellite and cable hookups, plus an external shower with hot and cold. Makes life so much easier when you come to clean and you got the kids or the dogs. Spray them off out here so you're not tracking that stuff inside your beautiful camper. Other side of the pass-through storage right here, finished off, magnetic anti-slam, but the most important part of any camper is going to be this info panel. This is where you come to see how does the rubber hit the road. Gross vehicle weight for this one, 8,900 pounds. Now, the dry weight on this one is roughly 7,000, 7, um, 34 feet long with the gross vehicle weight of 8,900 pounds. But you want to ask your specialist at Camping World and Gander, hey, what does that mean? Here's what my truck can tow. Tell me, how does that affect what we do? Everything from the insulation to the weight to everything. Let them guide you through that process. Because sure, this is great insulation. You got that fiberglass. You got that R11, R7, the whole nine. What does that mean? Until you get a chance to tell your specialist where you're going to go with your camper and what you're going to do with it, it just means numbers. So let them go through it with you. That's what they're there for, and they are so good at it. But tell me what you thought about this all-new 2021 Forest River Alpha Wolf 26 RLL, because I love hearing from you. I love the layout. What'd you like? What'd you not like? Please leave me a comment. While you're at it, click like, subscribe, and notify, so the next time we have a new video come out, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you for spending time with me today. I appreciate your time. Look forward to seeing you soon, but as always, come check out a camper, because they are fun. I'll see you soon.